When I became High Commissioner for Human Rights five years ago, there was almost no discussion at the United Nations on the human rights challenges faced by lesbian, gay, transgender, and intersex people. That is no longer the case. And I want to commend you, members of the core group, for the part you are playing in bringing about a new era of openness and dialogue. When the United Nations was formed, the founders declared this purpose, to reaffirm faith in fundamental human rights and in the dignity and worth of the human person. And I believe we are here today, that we are here today at the ministerial level, is we simply want to bring the situation about that everywhere in the world, people who are gay are treated the same way as other people. People who are gay are no longer subject to violence and to discrimination. That is our common goal. Part of this is a national task, but part of it does indeed remain for the United Nations. We ask for human rights for everyone, everywhere. Unfortunately, no country can claim to be free of the scourge of violence and discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity or expression. My country is no exception. We should be aware that the counter forces are also gathering strength, which, is, uh, which only gives us reason to say that we should redouble our efforts to make clear that all human rights apply to all people and that this is uh, an important issue also for the United Nations. A proactive approach actually pays off. It actually works. We really do send a clear and compelling message uh, by coming together today, and it's not just in support of gays and lesbians around the world. It's really in support of the founding values uh, of this institution. And therefore, we have to eliminate immediately all forms of human rights violation against uh, LGBT individuals, such as physical violence, discrimination, and the discriminatory punishment based on their sexual orientation and gender identity. We have a lot of work to do. And it's a matter of human rights that should be applied to all humanity without leaving anybody out. Um, you know, there will be no justice unless we achieve that.